Lisp Network Virtualization and also Multi-Tenancy. In this video, I am going to talk about two important topics of the Lisp. The first is Network Virtualization and after that Single Tenancy and also Multi-Tenancy. First, let me to review the Network Virtualization concept. After that, we can talk about the Network Virtualization in the Lisp. And finally, we will learn about the Single Tenancy and also Multi-Tenancy. And then we can configure one scenario for uh, reviewing all of the topics. Also, in the future videos, again, we have some scenarios about the multi-tenancy and also other features such as the shared model or model or other models that we have in the network virtualization in Lisp. Let me to review first the network virtualization in the, for example, layer two network or in the layer three networks. You know that we learn about these features in the uh, previous courses such as the switching courses or routing courses here we are reviewing the topic okay here i'm not going to talk about for example the detail of vlan or the detail of vrf here i'm going only to review some of the topics about the network virtualization because we need to first remembering the virtual the network virtualization in the normal networks in the standard networks in the standard switching and routing networks after that we can uh, think about the Lisp network virtualization. For example, about the network virtualization in the switching networks, in a layer two networks, we can remember that we had, for example, two switch, switch one connected to the uh, switch two. And here we configured the interfaces between the switch one and switch two as a trunk interface. And because of that, from this trunk interface, we can pass the traffic uh, with different VLANs from the different VLANs with a tag. For example, here in the switch one, assume that we have a computer uh, from the VLAN one and also from the VLAN two, another computer from the VLAN two. And also in the switch two, we have two computer connected to, to the switch two from the VLAN one and then VLAN two. You know that here we can send the traffic of computer one, the computer of VLAN one to the switch two from the switch one with the tag one with tag one and with this tag you have identified the traffic is receiving for which vlan for example here also you can send a traffic with tag two for the traffic of the vlan two this is one type of the network virtualization because here as you can see we have one physical structure but we are sending the traffic of to network to virtual network or virtual LAN from this same physical infrastructure because now actually logically we have two network two layer two networks and both of these two layer two networks are using the same physical structure this is the network virtualization in layer two also in layer three okay we have the similar feature for example assume that we have a rotor rotor one connected to the uh, for example rotor 2 okay you know that in routing also we have a feature we call it vrf or virtual routing and forwarding vlan is the abbreviation of the virtual lan and vrf okay is the abbreviation of the virtual routing and forwarding or via or vpn routing and forwarding virtual okay uh, or uh, for example routing then and forwarding also, maybe you see the abbreviation uh, equal to the VPN routing and forwarding. It's not important for us. You know that here in Rotor 1, we can configure, uh, for example, two VRF, VRF A, okay, or VRF B. This is the VRF A, and this is the VRF B. In each VRF, we have uh, some networks, uh, and also in the Rotor 2, we have uh, two VRF, VRF A, and after that, VRF B. You know that. Uh, here between the rotor one and rotor two for passing the traffic of the uh, two VRF, we can use two link or if you want, you can use, uh, for example, two sub interface. In most cases, we are configuring two sub interfaces, but let me to use in this example, two link or two, uh, for example, interface from uh, one interface is a member of VRF A and another interface is a member of VRF 
B because of that now as you can see we can send traffic of this VRF uh, from different networks but if you want to use the network virtualization here you need to configure two sub interface for example sub interface one with tag uh, one and then sub interface two with tag two you know that when we want to send the traffic of for example vrfa we can send this traffic with tag one again this is again the dot fun q tag uh, to the router two and for example for the vrfb we can use the tag two actually now again we have two virtual networks two separated and independent virtual networks over one physical network network this is a layer three network virtualization also we can uh, see the combination of the layer two and also layer three virtualization in networks for example let me to give you one example assume that here we have a switch one switch one connected uh, for example to rotor one and also the rotor one connected to rotor two and finally to the switch two and in the uh, switch one we have two vlan for example here we are configuring the vlan one and then vlan 2 okay and the link between the switch 1 and switch 2 is a tr is a trunk interface vlan 2 okay here we have trunk interface and here we have some sub interface after that we can send the traffic of vlan 1 this is the traffic of vlan 1 with the tag of 1 okay this is the traffic of vlan 1 with tag 1 we can send this traffic to rotor 1 and here with the tag of two to the rotor one the traffic of vlan two okay because the link between the rotor and switch is a, a trunk link and here in the rotor we can configure uh, some sub interface that are residing in different vrfs okay again we are receiving this traffic for different vrfs and we can send the traffic with a tag for example tag one to the rotor two and tag two also and uh, from the tag the rotor 2 can identify the uh, for, uh, for example vrf of this traffic and after that it can forward the traffic with tag to the switch 1 or switch 2 okay and a switch 2 can identify the tag and can forward the traffic on tag to the destination okay this is a similar feature and you learn about these features in the switching and routing courses but in this time i'm not going to talk about the uh, for example detail of and uh, the network virtualization on layer 2 and layer 3 or for example layer 2 layer 3 here we are only reviewing these topics okay because we need to understand the virtualization or network virtualization in the lisp networks in this lisp networks also we have the option of the network virtualization you know that with network virtualization we can use a, a physical structure for multiple independent networks okay any enterprise or service provider network today has multiple organizations sharing the same physical infrastructure to minimize capital and operating expense okay and because of that for example a service provider uses its infrastructure to host multiple customers and provide multiple type of services such as the mpls or v mpls vpn or another type of services internet or a transport service or some, some other services here in lisp we can uh, use the features of the network virtualization for for creating multiple virtual networks over a physical network for example here in this scenario as you can see we have four sites the site one this is the site one this is the site two this is the site three and this is the site four each of these four sites are the uh, for example the lisp site and here we have some eids but as you can see two of them are residing in vrf uh, vrfa and two of uh, uh, two others are residing in vrfb this means that uh, these two uh, vrf vrfb and vrfb here should like, uh, send traffic can send traffic to each other and uh, from the or vrfa and to vrfa again we have this uh, this opportunity that sending the traffic from uh, between them okay you know that we can use the same range on the vrfa and also on vrfb because the vrfa and vrfb are independent to each other okay let me to talk about the process the process is so interesting how we can configure one 
uh, for example, physical networks to creating multiple virtual network, okay? Multiple uh, network virtual, uh, or if how we can use the network virtualization feature of the Lisp. In Lisp, we have a feature, we call it the Lisp instance identifier. It's so imp important for the network virtualization in the Lisp. Let me write here the Lisp, okay? I will talk about this feature, Lisp in 